Okay, welcome back to um, the channel. Thank you again to everyone who's left comments and liked and resubscribed on these things. It's, I think, helped things to get a little bit closer to where we were before, but if you want to keep doing that sort of thing, it'd be really appreciated. Um, yeah, thank you again. So today I wanted to talk about, I'm just going to modify this. Eric Johnson kind of clean tone, which is in the folder if you want it. And what I'm going to do is actually bypass the glitz and that there. And I'm going to be looking today, if I can, at the heliosphere. So I'm going to have to take off, may even have to take off this reverb for now. Um, and that's probably for the best because it will show us what the heliosphere actually does. So this is one of the newest reverbs in the helix and default settings is going to sound. So you can hear clearly what is happening is there's a delay being fed into a reverb um, but your gu dry guitar doesn't have any reverb on it. Only the delay has it. So it could be a really nice, I think, um, candidate for kind of ambient tones or experimental tones. It's not the usual thing. So depth here, we're talking about some sort of chorus, I believe. And what I'm going to do is take that down a bit because it seems a bit aggressive by default. And 
time obviously this is the delay feedback this is how long it lasts i don't know can we go infinite <laughs> sort of starts to self oscillate I think so I'm going to take that feedback down to 80% the rate so that will be controlling your chorus I believe so it's now got like a cool tremolo if I take that down to like 3 hertz I guess if you press it in no that rate you cannot for some reason sync to your tap But it has got a really cool sound. So, other things we've got scale. So this, we could have it at 100% and then everything would come to the left and right at the same time. Or 50, you'd get like a, a even tap kind of thing. So like a ping pong. And then scale at 75, you get like a da da da. Now we can use the reverb mix to take out the reverb, and so we then just got a normal delay. And what happens if I put the feedback at 100% with that? Interesting. So as soon as you introduce the reverb, you can it starts to actually kind of decay quite quickly. Reverb mix 100% would sound like this. Then it's just a really washy kind of. Could be a really good one for swells actually and then decay you're gonna know what that does obviously again be careful with that then so as we have our mix higher and a decay we can easily get it to kind of crazy self oscillation territory a little bit temperamental in that way then I think that might be fair to see it's a bit tricky to use I do think it's got a really cool sound though and then headroom this by default I would I'll just show you what this does actually. So you can clip the actual delay block. So you hear like... <laughs> Hopefully this should sound slightly clearer and less clipped. <laughs> then if I went back down you hear like there's that little spit at the top that's because we are clipping the delay block so I would by default prefer this to be up here so we never clipped it but 
that's kind of some of the things we can do there. Um, so if we set this time way lower, what do we get? So what I'm thinking is because of the versatility of this block, you could have, so this is on snapshot three at the moment. On snapshot two, we could do something completely different and introduce kind of a delay. So I've 100 milliseconds there. If I put it to like the default at about 800, and then I could also take the reverb mix way down. So it's at 70% on snapshot thingy three. And then on snapshot two, we got just altogether different settings. Then we could even on snapshot one, for instance, you could have it more like a, just a traditional delay. So if I now go to scale for this one, if we have it still at 800 or whatever, it'd be pretty easy to find it. Right. Then take the scale back down to like 50%, 75, 75, 70. 50 and then we got another completely different style and if I had the reverb mix come down on snapshot one So yeah, I think a super versatile block, a little bit different to anything else that's in there. And I think you could see there that if you're creative with the snapshots and stuff, you could get some very different sounds out of that. Um, what else I might do if I assign this rate to be controlled by EXP2, um, we'll set our lower and upper bound stuff. So here I want it to be lowest case one and highest about five then I save this somewhere and as always if you want to let me know if you want me to drop this into the folder leave a comment or something help the video find its way to other people that might be interested in it And then we've got kind of like a, a wobble that we can put on our expression pedal. So pretty cool. Um, so give that a play. Let me know if you want me to drop that into the folder. I'll catch you in another video soon. I'm going to go and film the intro now. Cheers.